Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that is a Tinkercad Hummer. It was created by 8th grader Heath last year and was fantastic, but it was pretty hard to assemble. I took a shot at making the design easier to assemble, and now I'm sharing it with you. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so I cut this on the Ortur LaserMaster Pro 2. That is what it looks like when it's finally assembled. The wheels roll, we use straws, everything is glued with tacky glue inside, and we use a tiny bit of hot glue on the outside of the straws to hold it in place so it spins. If we take a look at the design, there are three parts that go on the top. There is a hood where I put the holes in it so you can see it. There is a roof that has a sunroof so it's easier to spot. And this back piece has the tabs so that way you can tell which of those goes in which place. This outside piece is easy to spot. And then the inside piece fits on the tabs of this underneath. These tabs are one of the things that I added to make Heath's design a little bit more easy to assemble. You'll notice up in the front, there's a tab for this piece. This part just floats. You can place it where you want. I'm gonna really quickly do Control H to hide the wheels. And let me show you what we did for these supports. There are two of these with a six millimeter hole for a straw. These two are taller than the ones in the back. Let me see if I can hide these quickly. I'll make sure I've got three shapes and do control H. And then I'll also do control H on the side. So you can see with the side hidden, there are two levels here. The trunk area is lower. So that way you can tell the smaller of these axle holders goes in the back. Another neat feature about this design, I'll do control H so you can see this. The hood actually glues on this and the trunk actually glues on these. So you've got extra support because it's glued above and it's glued to this central chassis area. And I think I'm gonna use this design for several cool cars that I'm hoping we create in my classroom. One other feature that I wanna highlight is I put a hole in the front of this chassis. That way you can tell which end goes where because otherwise they look kinda similar. Once again, friends, I have got to say thanks to Heath. His idea for creating this was absolutely fantastic. Totally from scratch, just started putting things together, made sure he remembered that there were four millimeters and he had tabs for things, and then boom, it turns into an awesome project like this. Friends, really quickly, these will be the pieces that you'll find on Thingiverse. There will be a link in the description below. It is right now sitting on a bed that will fit in the Glowforge. It will also fit on the Orator Laser Master Pro 2, which is what I cut it with, and we'll also be able to use this on the OMT Laser at school. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. Maybe even take time to hit that share button so more people get to learn about HL Mod Tech. Also, if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.